God bless you all. My name is Dave at the Resurrection Center. I'm excited to tell you about what we have been learning. At the Resurrection Center, Pastor Jose has talked about how we can watch our money, how we can be responsible with our finances. I'll share with you a recent article that was published in the recent Resurrection Center newsletter for July of 2021. Your number one health building tool is your income, but debt steals your income. Think about that. Debt steals your income. The interest alone will suck you dry. And on top of that, making all those payments is annoying. So it's time to eliminate debt for good. Credit cards are not the way to financial security. In fact, They'll take you in the opposite direction. This whole idea, this this buy now and pay later mentality causes people to spend more than they would with their own hard-earned cash. Nothing will give you peace of mind and financial stability like an emergency fund. It's no joke. It's really needed. An emergency fund will be your safety net when emergencies happen, and they will happen. It happens to all of us, so plan for them. It's hard to become financially stable if you keep going into debt because of emergencies. So putting some money in the bank is the first step to financial security. There's more, but that's the first step. Begin with the starter emergency fund of $500 to $1,000, preferably $1,000. This will cover smaller emergencies while you're getting out of debt. Once you're out of debt, you should take your emergency fund up to three to six months of expenses. Emergencies happen. Again, they happen to all of us. They're not fun, but it happens. Be ready. Here are some good first steps. Build a buffer. I mentioned before, $500 to $1,000, maybe $800. This will help you avoid living paycheck to paycheck with the stress that goes along with that. Get rid of bad debt. If your debt has an interest rate, say above 7%, you should get rid of it as quickly as possible or determine your own benchmark. And finally, save for emergencies. Grow your cash savings to cover three months of expenses. Just be ready. And now some news. Our Sunday 4th of July service will be held one hour early. We'll start at 11 a.m. on this day only. Our normal Sunday service is at noon. Our course uh, for a Bible study session will be for 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. That's still the same. So just be ready. Just the 4th of July, it's at 11 a.m. instead of noon. The next discipleship class, there's a new online class coming. The next discipleship class, if you haven't taken it already, is coming. And it teaches new visitors at, at the Resurrection Center the basics of discipleship and understanding the study of God's word and the best practices. Check for announcements during church service. And of course, get ready for our encounter with Jesus community event with toy giveaways, kids haircuts, and more. And this encounter with Jesus community event is happening on Saturday, July 17th at 2 p.m. So be ready. Saturday, July 17th at 2 p.m. And uh, on August, here's what's happening in August. On Friday, August 27th at 7 p.m., that will be the next Bravehearted Men's Meeting at the Resurrection Center. And we're gearing up for this year's Break Free to Your Destiny conference starting at 7 p.m. on Friday, October 15th, and the second day starting at 10 a.m. on Saturday, October 16th. There's so much more that is happening. Join us at 1060 Worcester Street in Springfield, Massachusetts. We're located in the Indian Orchard area of Springfield. Log on to our website at resurrectionspringfield.org. My name is Dave. And I'll see you soon.